Got two. Make ten. Go, Pete. Shake up. There are some people whose very presence makes you want to up your game. I grew up in Boston watching Vin play for the Celtics, so I kind of idolized him. I was a big fan of his. Definitely tried to model up my game after him a little bit. Vin Baker is that guy for the Milwaukee Bucks, the four-time NBA All-Star and gold medalist. Recently helped coach the team to the NBA championship, but that's not what he's most proud of. I'm actually most proud of my sobriety, and I'm also proud to be a minister. Um, a mentor. I'm pumped. I'm more excited now at 50 than I was as a player. Vin's energy matches those of the players decades younger than he. A glimpse of the giant he was before money, fame, and freedom were lost to addiction. How bad was it? Before games, it was Listerine to disguise the alcohol. I was trapped in the alcohol. Like, it was a point where I had to use it physically and then ultimately my talent went away it just disintegrated in a downward spiral vin lost everything his house his business his job and 100 million dollars and i literally one day i walked in i physically could not do it anymore i called my dad and he took me to a detox there 12 years ago and with a lot of hard work he met sobriety and then, humility, when he reached out to an influential friend at Starbucks and asked for a job. So I got the email from Starbucks saying, what do you think about retail? And I was like, sure, I can run a few stores. I didn't realize that retail meant actually being a barista. <laughs> <laughs> so you can make an ice caramel latte? <laughs> I could make an ice caramel latte. The reality hit me when I put on my apron and turned the corner and I was on the toaster oven to start the whole day. And I'm like, wait a minute, this is real. But it was necessary. I've seen the, the stories, $100 million, Starbucks. Yeah. What people don't realize is that Starbucks job was me on the upswing. Yes. When you have a really busy coffee shop, is it almost as stressful as the NBA championships? More stressful. <laughs> Doing a cloping at Starbucks, which is closing and opening, is a whole nother world. It's a whole nother level of intensity. <laughs> he laughs about it today, but says every trial he faced had to happen exactly the way it did to lead him where he is right now. What was it in your head that thought, huh, I think it might be time to bring him back? Peter Fagan is the president of the Milwaukee Bucks and the man who gave Vin a second chance. This is the most likable person. Forget about NBA player, forget about broadcaster. This guy is someone you want to be friends with, you want to work with. It was a no-brainer. As a person, he's been to the lowest depths. He's transparent about it. And then incredibly, all he wants to do is give back. On the court, every day starts with a hug. He says he's a hugger. He is, that's true. <laughs> it's true, man. You know, we, we got a big family here. For everyone, we bring it in, hug. He's going to shoot you straight, and I think that's important. You know, at our level, there are a lot of people who don't shoot you straight. They just want to be around, so they'll say yes to anything and everything. But it's Vin's work off the court where the coach leads even more people to victory. Sobriety through the Vin Baker Bouncing Back Foundation and the addiction centers he's now opening in Milwaukee and Green Bay. What drives you? to do this. The fear and the darkness, the stigma, all the things that came along with being an alcoholic. People who struggle with addiction, I, I promise you this, are some of the most amazing people when they are sober. So Vin shares his story and helps others rewrite theirs. Good, good, oh, great. I think what's most important for me is I also get a chance to teach life lessons, not necessarily through talking about it, but just living the, the right life. And what doesn't kill you only makes you stronger. So I feel much stronger. I'm blessed and uh, looking forward to the next day. Love that wow. man. Wow. Right? Tough business, but he brings joy to his players. They love him. They respect him. They learn from him. And he's done so much for the community at large in Wisconsin. I mean, that was incredible. That was unbelievable. Yes. Barista, and now he's assistant coach. That's <laughs> oh, incredible. What a hero. Oh, love it. Love it. Thank you. Thank you. And for more on Vin's work and Karen's passion, life's about change, head to hodengina.com.